Welcome to Highlands Presbyterian Church. We do hope you enjoy this week's message. So, from the theme going back to the basics, I will touch on three things and conclude by saying, go back to the basics. But we all know that there is no better foundation that has been laid than Jesus Christ. There is no better foundation that has been laid than Jesus Christ. Hence, brothers and sisters, I would like one of you who is not an elder, who is not a liturgist, the ones who host, who is not an overhead person, who is not part of the meet and greet team, to volunteer. I brought something. I will bring more of these bricks. They are a bit heavy. We want to build the church. We want to build the church. And this church cannot be built without you participating. So this volunteer is going to carry this brick and bring it to this place every Sunday. Every Sunday until the last Sunday of December 2024. This brick is written, Jesus. Our first basic is Jesus Christ. Everywhere we will go, in everything we are going to do, the first basic, the first person we should have is Jesus Christ. Is there anyone who volunteers? Oh, thank you. So, it is a charge to you, Vonnie. Okay. Yes, I can see. Every Sunday, you will come, pick up this brick out there, and put it here. Every Sunday. It will be outside. Yes. Every Sunday with Jesus. Make sure that this Jesus remains as is. If it gets dirty, put another paper. <laughs> write Jesus. <laughs> to remind the church that Jesus Christ is the foundation. Yes. Why am I doing this? I want us in the next coming 52 weeks to reach a point where we will have 52 bricks. I will make sure that in every sermon I bring a brick so that you build. Everyone must be engaged and participate in building HPC. Eh? For me. So I will lay the foundation. Yes, you will leave it there today. It is your responsibility. I'll be bringing more. I'll be bringing more. If, uh, if I run out of the bricks at home, I'll bring some. Thank you. Why am I saying this, brothers and sisters, Paul says in Jesus, continue to live in him. The psalmist says, how can a young man keep his way pure? By hitting and keeping God's word. And the God's word is fulfilled in Jesus Christ who is the word? When we read John 1, we hear John saying, Christ is the word that was there in the beginning. Continue to live in Jesus Christ at all times. When you are happy, be able to say, thank you, Jesus. When you are sad, be able to say, thank you, Jesus. Help me to rise again. 
continue to live in Jesus Christ. At one point, the disciples decided to desert Jesus Christ in the book of John chapter 6. And when he had taught them so many things, some said, this teaching is so difficult. This teaching I cannot follow. But the twelve remained with Jesus Christ, and Jesus said to, him, to, to them, do you also want to follow them, to desert me? Then Peter responded by saying, to whom shall we go? For we have come to believe that you are the Holy One. We have come to believe that in you, Jesus Christ, there is life everlasting. Therefore, brothers and sisters, today the first basic that I want to encourage you to hold on to is to continue living in Jesus Christ. Be rooted, Paul says, be rooted and built in him. Be rooted in Jesus Christ. Just like the psalmist one would say, as the tree planted next to a river, it never runs dry and bears fruit in due season. So shall we be rooted in Jesus Christ. May Christ be the stream of living waters. May Christ be the one who is our source of strength, source of life, and source of hope. Be built in Jesus Christ. As I brought this brick, I was remember, reminded once again that Christ is the chief cornerstone. When they talk of the chief cornerstone, they say it is that brick that holds the building together. It shapes up the building. Without the cornerstone, the shape of the building doesn't come out nicely. Without the chief cornerstone, the building is not strong. Therefore, Christ is the chief cornerstone that we should be built on. We should hold on to Christ. As the song says, On Christ is a solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. I call unto you, brothers and sisters, when life throws at you lemons, remember Christ is the only source of strength. Christ is the only one who makes all things new. May your faith, brothers and sisters, be rooted and built in him. Whom you have believed at all times, remember that faith is the substance that enable, enables us to see Christ working in us even when the storms are raging, even when life is so difficult, when we are rooted in him, built in him, having faith in him, we know, we know that we are better. We are stronger, for we are able to stand in Christ and say, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And Peter, in the book of First Peter chapter 5, he reminds us in faith and he says, be steadfast in the Lord, be steadfast in faith. For the devil prowls like a roaring lion, seeking one to devour. But when we stand firm, knowing that Christ is our strength, Christ is our pillar, Christ is our foundation, we know we will overcome. I've once watched National Geographic when the empires hear the lion roaring. <laughs> they come and they form a group, and the lion roars, one impala goes astray. When you are not rooted, when you are not built in Jesus Christ, when you do not have faith in Jesus Christ, you are like that impala that leaves the rest and goes astray and becomes prey to the lion. So brothers and sisters, remain rooted and built in Jesus Christ, 
knowing that with Christ you are safe. He is the good shepherd. He says to us in the book of John chapter 10, the devil only comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but I have come to give you life and love in its abundance. And he says, I am the good shepherd, for I lay down my life for my sheep. Therefore, brothers and sisters, remember when you are running and the lion is behind you, continue to sing, saying, I know that my Redeemer liveth. No, I know that Christ, even when everything is so hard, even when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I know that his rod and his staff, they shall comfort me. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us never stop singing to God. Let us never stop praising God, for we are reminded in the book of Jeremiah, Joshua chapter 5 that when they went around the halls of Jericho all they did was sing songs of praise to the Lord they went so many times but on the seventh time when they sang and the trumpets were, were shouting and making that noise the walls were tumbled down they did not sing to men but they sang glory to the Lord so I say to you brothers and sisters us. When all is sinking, when all is hard, another basic is sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord. The song 10,000 Reasons reminds me of something. They say it's a new day. The sun is dawning and the challenge is coming. But I will sing to the Lord. I will praise unto the Lord. Praise the Lord, all oh my soul. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Remember, brothers and sisters, through praising and honoring God, when they were in Ephesus in the prison, in the deepest dungeons, Paul and Silas, when they sang unto the Lord, something happened. The shackles were broken, and the gates of prison were open, and the jailer stood and said, Oh, the prisoners are gone. But the Lord stood with them because they praised the Lord. So, brothers and sisters, when things are good, go back to the basics. First basic is Jesus Christ. And be rooted in Jesus Christ. Have faith in Jesus Christ. For when you go back to these basics, first eight of Colossians says to us, deceptive teachings, traditions are going to come. They will sway you from the Lord. Mind you, these days, have you ever wrote, read those books that go like 12 steps to knowing God? 10 ways of fasting and praying that unlock the heavens. There are so many theories about how it is done. But one thing that I have discovered, brothers and sisters, only Christ can do all these things for us. So hear what God says to the children of Israel in Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, and your strength. So brothers and sisters, only Christ is the solution. Only Christ is the answer. So our first brick that we will lay today is Christ Jesus. He's the only one we are going to run with until the end of this journey. Hold on to his teaching. Hold on to him. For he is the way, the truth, and the life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope I didn't make so much noise. <laughs> Let us pray. Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you, God, for this reminder. Thank you, God, for taking us back to the basics. 
Teach us to trust you. Teach us to hold on to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being a part of Highlands Presby's online community. If you wish to give an offering towards God's work done through HPC, please see the banking details shown.